Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Foxy plush. So I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial. This is a little bit of a better look at him. He's got some nice pants and that's there. And um, he's got a nice hook on him. And yeah, so let's get into the pattern. Okay, so we've got this pattern. You can get it off of DeviantArt and its link will be in the description so you can print it off. Okay, so you need your two pages of the pattern. You will need some brown fleece. I'm using fleece. It's for Foxy's pants. It really doesn't matter what you use, just as long as it's brown. You'll be needing some orange felt. One sheet of orange felt. Two sheets of this, I call it reddish brown. I don't really know what it's called. Uh, you need gray, one sheet of gray felt, one sheet of black felt, a little bit of yellow, you really don't even need this much, and a little bit of white. Okay, you now you're going to be needing some black yarn. So, you got that. Then, this is, um, you've been needing this gray embroidery floss. And I bought it at Hobby Lobby, I don't know, you can get it most everywhere. You're going to be needing a pipe cleaner. Um, it'd be best if it wasn't a vibrant color, but all I had was a vibrant color. So we're going to be using a vibrant color. <laughs> and you need brown thread. I'm just going to stick with brown the entire time because why not? Okay, I have this box of brads. This is our new eye to make it. We decided that um, pins were a little bit dangerous. Oops, that's a brown brad. But anyways, you need some black brads. They're very small. I'll send to you later. And this is... A, this is gonna be the hook uh, I don't exactly know what it's called but I'll tell you right there or something okay and now you're gonna be needing fabric scissors paper scissors some needles I just have some needles in here and a glue gun of course we love glue guns around here and I think that, that is about it oh wait here we go. paper you need your cardstock is usual for tea. Okay, so that's everything. Except for cardboard, okay? So you just need a small piece of cardboard. I have a very thin piece. It doesn't really matter what size it is. Okay, so now what you need to do is you just need to cut out your pattern. Everything is color coded on mine. It will tell what goes with what on here. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting it out. Okay, so I've been cutting out um, for a little while, but uh, I forgot to explain about this. Uh, we added in these nice little blue triangles, that's not a triangle, rectangles and ovals and stuff that point to the pieces. It's just telling what they are because the pieces are so small. You do not have to cut these out because the they're not a part of the pattern it's just telling what things are okay so now we got everything cut out and um if you're unsure about the colors like if you're doing this in black and white don't worry i will hopefully tell you good enough to get all the colors right okay so i've pinned this up this is the reddish brown this is the color we were talking about with the reddish brown so um now just cut out all of these pieces following these numbers times four means you need four of these so i'm gonna go ahead and cut these out okay so i've got all of these red parts cut out um and with this part again i'm not going to cut it out just yet and with these eyes they are not colored in they don't have a color because they're just exactly the same as the other eyes that we've been doing um i will show you that there's a yellow part in foxy's eye but i'll show you that at the end so don't worry about that right now Okay, so this is all the black and gray parts. Here we have the hook cuff end, it's gray. We have the hook cuff, it's gray. We have the back of the belly, that's gray. This is the, oops, uh, this is the inner ear. You can tell, it doesn't say what it is directly, but it's what it is. And this is the eye patch, and this is what we call the spine. This is orange and brown, so the muzzle is orange. This is the, the, it just says the muzzle. This is the tip of the nose, I think that's what it's called, tip of the muzzle. It's orange. This is the sprig of hair, orange. This is the outer cheek puff thing, it's orange. And this is the brown pants, they're brown. Okay, so 
and we also have this ooh, lay down, orange test spot. Okay, so you've seen this guy in the past. This is Golden Freddy. Uh, as you can see, they have the pretty much exact same body style. All of our animatronic things do pretty much. So uh, I'm just gonna be doing that exact same body style. So with the body, just do the same drill that you've done so many times before if you've made any of these things with us. Uh, so you got your torsos and you got your arms and your legs. Stick them on there and make the body. If you don't know how to do this, then please refer to our last, not our last video, but it's called Golden Freddy Push Pad in part one. I believe it has the how to do the torso in it. So all you need to do is look that up and I will be back after showing this up. Okay, so I did these bodies just like I said, if you need to know how to do them, we have a tutorial on that. Just go check out the last one. We'll put it in the description so you can find it easily. Okay, so um, there's one thing different about this pattern. It's with the head. Um, if you noticed, Foxy has his ears are actually detached from his head, I guess you'd say. They have little poles, <laughs> whatever you call those things. It might have been hard to tell, but he does have little poles. I'm going to show you how to make those now. Get your pipe cleaner and your embroidery floss. Okay, we need to cut uh, just about, that's actually too long, no, 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 this much of a pipe cleaner. Like you need two lengths of that. So take your pipe cleaner and you need to tie the string around it. Yeah. Okay, as you can see, you don't have to have a beautiful knot because mine is less than beautiful. Okay, so. Ooh, I've got to do a step. Okay, <laughs> with your pipe cleaner, this is very optional. Um, we are going to end up wrapping this gray string around the pipe cleaner to make it entirely gray. But the blue hairs from the pipe cleaner will most likely stick out. So I'm just going to trim give it a little haircut that looks like about about right so I just trim the pipe cleaner a little bit so take your end that you put that you knotted and just hold it down there and come oh, string so difficult and then you just start wrapping the ends do not have to be pretty at all because they will be hidden but um, just as you wrap, you're just wrapping the gray string around the pipe cleaner. As you wrap, watch those blue hairs, or the hairs of the pipe cleaner, and try to make them not stick out at all. Okay, so I have got this beautiful pipe cleaner. Uh, as you can see, it's not perfect because I'm very less than perfect. But whenever you're putting it in, you can just pick whichever side you want that's like the best and use that side. So now I'm going to tie a knot in the end. And it can have um, blue on each side and ugly ends. But uh, this is kind of the look you're going to get. Okay, let's get out our head part next. We have this. And this arrow, um, star, sorry, thing. And this star is at the top of the head. So now you know exactly which side is the top of the head. No more guessing, which is nice. Okay, so we got our two head pieces. Let's get these two pipe cleaner things that we made. And these are just Foxy's ear stumps. I guess you call them. So just take your head and put this in here like this. So you get this effect. And you can also check the inside, like what it'll look like when it's inside and out. Just uh, hold it and then do that. And this will be your ear. And you just need to make sure you have enough gray sticking out. Because whenever you put the ear on, you just want gray showing, no blue. 
Let's go ahead and sew them up real quick. You're just doing the head the exact same way that we've always done it, except this time you've got two ear style things. Come on. Ah, it clipped through. Okay. So I'm gonna sew this. And whenever you get to the blue, like to the pot cleaner part, you need to make sure. Ugh, now this is getting stuck that you reinforce your string very well. Okay, so I made it here. It's just like this. So I've zoned this to there, wasn't very far. But right here, we need to go in very close to this pipe cleaner so that if you yank on your ear at all, that it won't just fall out. So when you go in, you just need to go in ooh, as close as possible without like just going straight through the pipe cleaner which would be very hard to do <laughs> so just sew in close and you just need to go over this several times so that should be good I hope it's good so now just finish off the head like you normally would okay so as you can see uh, I've sewed this up and I've got this nice little head thing and my gray string although it's sewn into the fabric it is on the outside so whenever you flip it it will look like that okay so we got this nice little dude uh, and whenever you inside him out, I uh, inside it out his head already, his ears will be um, crooked and everything, but that's fine. And so I'm going to go ahead and sew up the body the rest of the way and put on his head and then I will be back. Okay, so I got him all put together now. I have stuffed his head and I've stuffed his arm. Now, as everyone knows, Foxy has a hook on his right hand. He does? So, what is he doing here? Okay, <laughs> Foxy has a hook on this hand, which is his right hand. So, you need to pick out a face for your fans, Bear. And um, I'm going to choose, oh boy, I'm going to choose this side. So this is going to be my hand. Now, to prepare your hand for a hook, do not stuff it. Like this hand, I stuff firmly. This one is very much, it's not as stuffed as much. So to do it, what you do is, it's kind of like, you just kind of stuff this back in there a little bit. So that you make kind of a little hole. Just like this. So it should work about like that. So he has like that much of his hand missing. Where his hook will go later. So just don't stuff your arm too much. Or else you will not be able to inside it out like I did. Okay so we've got this um, lovely foxy. I guess you'd call him lovely. His right hand is sunken in. And I thought I totally forgot to tell you put the feet on, but uh put the feet on. I'm telling you now. Okay, so I've got the pants pattern. These pants are brown. This is the open waist part. These are the leg holes. Don't sew them up. And then you just sew from here, go down, in here. And then on there and go down and that is your pants okay so I've got the pants as you can see I sewed here and I went like that and with the seam allowance you as you can see you don't have to give it too much and that you uh, don't give it like don't sew too close in or else um, Foxy's leg will most likely not be able to fit through the pants so I sewed on this side and I sewed on this side very simple Okay, next we're going to be doing the hook cuff end and the hook cuff. These are both gray. Okay, so you got your two pieces. This is just like Freddy's hat. If you did Freddy's hat in um, the Golden Freddy pattern, this is pretty much his hat. It just doesn't have a rim on it. 
let's start in the middle. So uh, just put your circle somewhere. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be the exact middle. And um, go in and just follow the curvature of the circle. Then you just um, pick up your circle and you move it over and you're still following the curvature of the circle. I tied it off here and like, you know, tied it a few times to reinforcement knot. And now we have this open spot here. So just like the hat, I don't remember exactly, but if you need more detail, just go to the Golden Freddy, like part three, Golden Freddy plush pattern part three, and it should give you all you need to know. So I'm gonna sew this part up right here too. Okay, so this is your hook cuff done. So this little part that hangs over, just cut it off so that you have an even thing like this. The next part we'll be working on is the muzzle. This is like called the tip of the muzzle or something. They're both orange and then this muzzle and the lower jaw sorry, times two it is brown okay let's start with the muzzle and the muzzle tip okay so uh let's this is just a triangle so just sew along the top and when you get here we're going to attach that to this okay so we went all the way to the end now don't cut your thread just yet so we're gonna take our little muzzle tip thing this thing whatever it's called i don't have the instructions in front of me i mean just stick it in the middle of the fold like this with the flat end down and then just put a stitch in the top of it to hold it Ooh. come on string string hates me i mean i'm convinced i mean computers hate me String hates me. Too many things hate me. I mean, if I name more, I will bore you. Okay, so we've secured it there. So let's bring it up. And now it's just like this. It's like making a little tent. It looks just like a tent. Come to think of it, it looks like a tent. Okay, so uh, now we're just gonna sew along this edge, this edge, and stop here. Okay, so we made it to the end of this one side, which was my evil plan all along. And as you can see, this little, it has kind of an overhang. That's okay, because we will use that for seam allowance, which is like really big, but hey. So now let's um, just tie this side off and then go to this other side and do the same thing. So we've got this, we got a little sewn thing right there. Let's get some more of the color. This is not in the pattern. Just cut out a little triangle that this can easily fit on top of, like, like that. So it'll be like this. You're just gonna sew along this edge and um, don't sew all the way out there because that would be in the wrong spot. You wanna try to keep with this edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have sewed on this side and I've sewed on this side. So now, to do the front, I mean, this is pretty simple. So you probably knew how to do it, but I'll tell you anyway, because we're real thorough around here. So uh, to do the front, just kind of fold it like this and put your needle in from behind and keep on going on the edge. Okay, so uh, that's the top of the muzzle. Okay, the next thing we will be doing is lower jaw. If you look at a foxy's jaw, it is wider at the bottom. So um, whenever you do this, you need to sew, let's see, on, I think it's yeah, on this side this longer I guess you call it longer that side it's the side that is at the end of er lower er I don't know it's the er side okay so let's just go ahead and sew all the way to this point 
Okay, so I've gone all the way around and now I'm just gonna trim this out of the way. That should do. And if you're confused about any of this, just refer to our last tutorial, um, Golden Freddy. It should explain everything in detail. So this is your muzzle. Okay, so you got your muzzle here. I uh, now you need to get the cardboard out. So I cut out this half little half moon thing to go in the muzzle. You really, it's gonna be a custom thing for you because um, everybody's seam allowance will be slightly different. So just make it fit in your muzzle and then glue it in. Okay, so you got that and it's looking nice. I've put in the other um, piece of cardboard in this one already. I think I might have said that, but uh, it's just the same thing. You just have to fit it for each of them. Okay, so we got the two comparison bodies. They don't look much alike right now, but hopefully they'll get better. So let's look um, at Foxy's nose. It is um, hopefully just like our last nose. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and stick the muzzle or whatever you call this, the nose, onto our foxy head. Okay, so I've gone all the way around this muzzle and it, I've just been using the ladder stitch on it again. I don't know, I like the stitch because it looks nice on most everything that you do. So I've just been going in here and then coming out and then on the muzzle, you go in on the muzzle and then come out again. So I've just been doing that if you're confused on how to put the muzzle on. Get your ear and you're just gonna put it on the just on one side, you're gonna do like this. Can you see that? I don't know. You know uh, put it like this. And just make sure the pipe cleaner doesn't stick out of this because this is like the important part. So, and you look down here and you have like, you have just a little bit sticking out. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and glue these on. Here we go. And then just lay your ear stock or the, the gray pipe cleaner in the glue. Eh, glue. And that should do it. Now let's get a, another ear and let's sandwich it in there. Like this. Okay, so I've glued it on. This ear is a little bit floppy for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but if whenever you glue in, you have glue that's going to stick out on the... Like here, you can see the glue stuck out whenever I squeezed it together. That's okay. Just take your scissors and get rid of the glue. Let's go ahead and... Put on the inner ears now. So good. These are black. They're called the inner ears. And there's two of them. You just glue them to here. Okay, everybody. Hey, it's me, M2. I took over for M1 here because uh, he doesn't like to burn himself on hot glue. So here's our old Foxy. As you can see, we got this chest plate. And he's got like what looks like to be a, like a spine underneath it sticking out so that's what we're gonna put on now so you have your three pieces this is your top of your chest this is your spine and this is the black that goes behind it so as you see we got some cuts right here you can really customize your gashes however you like them to be but you got this chest plate and what you're gonna do is you're gonna just take him and get you a pair of scissors and you just kind of chop a little custom hole in there so that we can see what's back there behind them. So, just chopping off a little piece like that. Now when you unfold it, you end up with a gash that looks like that. We got another one that's down here. So, we'll get one that kind of cuts through that area. Now you got these two gashes. One there, one there. You could add in another gash if you want. It really doesn't matter. So let's just fit our spine on here. Try to stick your spine in the middle. And let's see how it looks. And then we're going to slap our black on the back. So it ends up looking something like this. So we can see some of his spine. 
So I'm gonna glue that together in this order like it is. And then if we have anything sticking off, we'll trim it with scissors. So now I've got this little chest plate. As you can see, you can see the spine sticking out of there. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue them on just like this other foxy right here. You got this piece. So now if um, for some reason your chest plate does poke off a little bit, like here it doesn't really poke off as much, you can trim it once it's on there. So let me take these scissors and we can trim it a little bit. And there we go, that's glued on. Alright, we're back. Now this is important time, we're gonna put the hooks on. Um, this is a different type of hook, I thought it looked kinda interesting. So we're gonna be using it. It's called a cup hook. You can buy it at the hardware store. So, you got your fox. You got this one side of the arm, that um, M1 left like this. So that's gonna be our side with the hook. See, it's not stuffed all the way. So we've also got this, this is our hook cuff. Now you can do this several ways. If you wanted your um, golden part to stick out, you could do that too. So um, what we're gonna do is we gotta poke a hole in the middle of this thing. Um, I'm gonna take these little scissors right here and we're just gonna find the middle of this thing. Very middle. It doesn't have to be the exact middle. And I'm just gonna take a little snip in there and try to open up a little hole. Let's see. Okay. So that opened up a little hole as you can see. So you can either feed your hook in through the hole like this and have the metal on the outside which would end up like that. Or you can feed your hook in through the back like this. Sticking them in there have them come out the front like this so whichever way you choose right now as you see you've got your hook in there we're gonna need to apply glue down in there just to hold them to keep them from wiggling around and falling out just on the hook area down in down in there all right I'm back so we got the little hook cuff thing the hook is glued on the cuff as you can see like that and I've stuffed a little bit of stuffing in behind him he'll move but not very much now just like on our previous fox and you can see his hook cuff just kind of goes on like a sleeve we're gonna do the same thing with this one so now I'm gonna take me some glue and I'm going to put it on the inside lip of this Okay, so now the next part that we're gonna do with Foxy has to do with the interior of his mouth right here. So as you'll notice with our other Foxy, it's black in there and that kind of makes it cool more mysterious than say some of the earlier models that do look creepy but their interior is not black. So, first we got a little scrap here. This is just normal black felt. Um, it doesn't really matter. It needs to be about this size but we're gonna trim it. This is how we're gonna do that. So we got his mouth. We're gonna take this really just kind of jam it down in his mouth so it looks like that like he's biting it okay so as you can see I've got it in here he's also along the bottom what we're gonna do now is we're gonna trim along the edges of the mouth like this all right I'm back so uh, as you can see I'm just taking this thing and it's just a black piece I just cut it along the edges it it kind of looks like this when you're done it doesn't have to be perfect. The biggest thing is that it fits inside his mouth. So I'm just going to jam it back in there. We don't want too much of an overlap. So really that's what it looks like from the side. It's basically another mouth. So now we're going to glue it in there. As you can see there's a little bit of room right there. We want to pull it in tight. And we don't want it to overlap too much like it is on the bottom right now. So I'm going to pull that in and we will be putting lips on him later. But Next, we're gluing on these little cheek things. So that's uh, these things right here. So, you got your two cheek pieces. I've stuck them together like so. 
your brown piece go down the bottom with your orange piece on the top. And we got that on both sides. So what we're gonna do is glue these down together and then we glue them on to the fox. It's gonna go in like this, very close to the side of the face. We just put in the inside of the mouth and uh, as you can see it's kind of rough looking because we don't have any lips and we don't have any teeth. The most important part of a bread bear is his teeth. So as you can see Foxy has quite a number of teeth. In fact he's got eight on the bottom and uh, six on the top. So what we're doing next is dealing with the teeth. So you will need, this is just some cardstock. Um, cardstock. It's basically like one of those little cards you write on. It's thicker paper. You could also use cardboard if you wanted a thin cardboard. So what we're doing with this is we're going to take it and cut it into thin strips. Alright, so I'm back. Alright, um, we've cut out our teeth down here. They look about like that. You know, they have not been sharpened yet. So we're going to start with the top row of teeth first. So that requires six teeth. So i got my fox here. I'm going to take a tooth in its long form. If you've seen any of the other videos, this is exactly the same. See how he's got that big gap? If you don't like the gap, move the teeth in closer. Teeth is a custom thing, so if you want to do something different, bam, do it. Alright, so now we're also going to go along this side, doing a similar thing. Okay, so I've glued all these on. They're kind of on their rough right now. And um, now we've got to trim them to the correct length to get something like that. Now you want your teeth to be uniform on this side and this side. I know mine probably aren't right now, but uh, you can handle it. Now, as you notice, he has pointy teeth. They're not boxy teeth. They're pointy teeth. This is what we're going to do. We're going to make them pointy. So, we're just going to cut a little triangle, basically. So we just chop up in there like so. There's one side. Now we chop the other side. Now, and we end up with something like that. Now, as you can notice, I didn't go to a fine point. If you look at that close, you can see that the point is not fine. It's still like, it looks like it's been snipped off. You want to do that because if you go too fine, it will bend and look ugly. So we keep this up cutting out the little triangle on all the teeth and then we do the same on the bottom okay yeah so the teeth are done and you might say oh those are some teeth there but uh here we go we gotta put in a lip i don't know if you can see that a lip so it's the same color as the bonnie um that's the freddy it's the foxy hide <laughs> and um you just cut it like this it's about the same width as a tooth and it's just gonna go like this around the bottom and he'll be glued in there and what he'll do is he'll cover up the teeth a little bit. The top lip is made out of orange, but it holds true for the same stuff. It's about the same width as a tooth. Audi, I'm back! And so now we're doing eyeballs, because every fox needs eyeballs. So, just like all our other fast bears, we got eyes like this. The difference is, this time, Foxy has golden metals to his eyes. And also, instead of putting a pen in, we put a brad in. So, you basically got this little list right here. This will give you your black part of your eye. This will give you the white part of your eye. And then the yellow part in the middle is so small, um, you just cut it out yourself. Just cut out a little circle like that. And you can use pins like our previous fox. Let me see. Here he is. His eyes are actually made of pins. And they come out. But it's kind of a dangerous hazard. So instead, we also are using brads as well, which is what these are. So when you look on the back, it actually kind of folds over. It, it also keeps the eye better. And they still do stick out. So I've done that, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue them to the fox's head. But first, as you might notice with the other fox, um, he has eyelids on. So if you look at the little pattern, there's the little black eyelid right there. And so I've cut out some of those right there. And now I'm just going to glue them to the tops of the eyes. So you got your eye here. You just place your eyelid over it like so. About like that. 
and then you glue it on. Okay, there he is, got the eyes glued on. You might notice a couple things are still missing. Namely this, the eyebrow. So, I've cut out the eyebrows. You can use the little pattern provided. You can cut out your own, it doesn't really matter. But they are made from the orange. Same orange as here, and here, and here. So, now we're gonna stick the eyebrows on. And, uh, they go in like so. Important thing is that uh, your squarish end goes towards the inside of his eye while the, um, little pokey end goes towards the outside of the eye. Okay, so now we've got this little nose piece. Custom nose piece, as you can see. He's basically like a little short squat eyelid. Kind of a half circle. And we are just gluing it on the fox's face. Now you don't glue it down here. We actually glue it up on top of the nose. Right there, like that. Okay, so here your newly completed fox is. He's completely done, so there you go. Oh, but what are you doing in here? What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? Didn't we do this last time? Yeah, we did it. Not my fault that we did it last time. Look, you messed him up. If you wouldn't spend 35 minutes in the bathroom, then we wouldn't have this problem. No, I just, it was just What's wrong with him? He's minutes. perfect. Look, he didn't even have pants. Just a second, people. Okay, so Foxy, it's almost done. Don't fear, never fear, whatever. Okay, so all we have left is our pants and our patch. So get your patch out and you'll need your black yarn right here. You'll also need one of these big needles. I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's just a very big needle. And your piece of yarn just needs to be able to wrap around Foxy's head because this is his patch strap. Okay, I'm going to be using this poker. I mean, it's just because I have trouble poking through felt. But uh, you can really use whatever you want to poke through the poke a hole in the felt. Okay, so on the flat edge, just poke a hole on this side. Like that. And then poke a hole on the other side. Like that. So you got these two lovely holes. So get your needle out and then just go through the holes. It might be kind of difficult, but you can make it. Okay, so we've got our yarn loop through there. Let's just go ahead and go in the other hole. Where'd the other hole go? Somewhere. There it is. Okay, we found it. Come on, hold. Okay, there we go. So now, just take this string out of your needle, and you've got his beautiful, lovely, wonderful patch. Okay, so now he's got his patch. This is the last step. If, unless if I'm missing something, this is the last step. Okay, so Foxy's got these pants on, and we cut all these rips in them and stuff because I don't. Got some on and But Foxy has rips in his pants. So let's go ahead and put on our pants for this Foxy. And so just inside out your pants. Okay, here we go. We got our pants on now, and this is just kind of the way the pants look. If you don't like the way the pants look, you can modify them. I mean, it's free country. Okay, so let's just make some holes. It really does not matter what your holes look like. There's one last thing we need to do, and that's put on a sprig of hair. So, whenever you're putting it on, just go in at the top of his head right here. And then kind of lay this down like that. And you just have to really try to get the smallest 
stitch you can so that your string will not show. Okay, so I put on his hair and just be really careful with your stitches to go in very close uh, to the last stitch that, stitch that you did so that um, your stitches will not show a lot on this sprig of hair. Okay, this is the final comparison of our two foxies. So I hope you enjoyed this um, pattern and uh, go make yourself a foxy. Bye.